Hello traders, FS Fibcolati here. Today is Wednesday, October 18th, and I'm going to be analyzing the DXY and the US dollar index, starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame. So on the DXY monthly, I mean, I still think this is the end of an ABC correction right here. If that's the case, this move down is a wave one, this move up is a correction to that move down like a wave two, and I still think eventually it will go down and make a big wave three, a wave four, and a wave five. So let's head down to that weekly time frame and switch back to the US dollar index. On the US dollar index, this is a very nice move down right here. I think it's a wave one. I think this is an A. This looks like a WXY or B. And I think this is an uptrend for a wave C. We are right at the 61% Fibonacci level, which price definitely does not have to turn there. It very easily could go up to the 78% before it turns. But it does seem like a likely place to see at least a pullback and potentially maybe even the end of a wave two and a wave three. So let's keep going down to that daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I mean, on the daily, the fact that we got a lower high right here does make me think this could be an A, a B, and then we're going down for a C, or possibly it could even turn into a 1, 2, 3, especially if this really is the end of a wave C of wave 2. Now, we really can't say that the that move down is confirmed yet because we do not have any break of structure. I'm just applying that for the fact that we have a lower high, but this very move down very easily could be a correction to this move up. And if that's the case, hopefully it will end up continuing the uptrend and giving us a chance to go long. So taking it down to the four hour time frame. So like I said, to me, I mean, this looks more trendy and this looks more like a one, two, three pattern. So I think there is a pretty good chance this will end up continuing down probably in a wave C. But but like I said, on the other hand, if it does go up, if it does break structure at a Fibonacci level, then I would definitely take that as the end of a Kretzen, probably a Kretzen to this, and I would definitely be going long for the continuation of the uptrend. But I for sure wouldn't take a long entry unless it made a nice significant break of structure to the upside. So let's head down to that one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, like I said, our most recent structure level is right here. We are at a Fibonacci level right now, which is probably a good major reason why this is going up. But for me, I am looking at this move up as a possible correction to this move down. So if I see three waves up and pulse it down, lower high, lower high than this right here, then I would for sure take that as a sort for potentially the continuation of the downtrend. Like I said on the higher time frames, I think this could be the wave B and that we could be going down right now for a big wave C on the daily, or maybe this is even a two and we're going down for a wave three on the daily. So either scenario, we should be able to figure out what it is by whether it breaks structure to the upside or whether it makes a three-way pattern up and a lower high, giving us another chance to go short for the continuation of the downtrend. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.